Hi, we back with another video. People around the world have significant differences, whether in terms of skin color, appearance, or stature. In this video, we aim to discuss the differences in human height, so stay with us. It is commonly observed that women are shorter than men everywhere. The average height of a woman in America is 163 centimeters while it is 175 centimeters for American men. However, when we explore the history of humans, we find that human height has fluctuated over time, both becoming shorter and taller. For example, the Australopithecus lived 3 million years ago, and the height of these earliest humans was only about 122 centimeters. However, after several million years, when we reach Homo erectus, their height increased significantly with an average height reaching 168 centimeters. If we approach closer to the present and look back around 30,000 years ago at the people of Northern Europe, we see that the tallest ancient humans were there, with an average height reaching up to 183 centimeters. The height of Europeans continued until we move a few thousand years forward, a time when humans settled down and began agriculture. However, in Europe, their height decreased, while in other civilizations like those along the rivers like the Nile, their height remained tall. The theory presented here is that Europeans ate less meat and relied more on wheat for sustenance. While along rivers like the Nile, meat was abundant and people consumed it. This theory is reinforced by moving to East Asia, where we see short people getting taller. Why? Because they primarily consume rice as their main food. Therefore, a protein-deficient diet can lead to height loss. Therefore, malnutrition can lead to short stature. Archaeologists have thoroughly examined this issue. Around 2,000 years ago, an archaeologist compared a Greek individual with an Iranian counterpart. At that time, the average height of Greeks was 160 centimeters, whereas Iranians averaged 175 centimeters in height. Scientists and archaeologists attribute all these factors to nutrition. From Greece to Western Europe until the 18th century, their height was consistent, around 160 centimeters. However, with the onset of European immigration to America, their descendants in America experience an increase in height of approximately 10 centimeters, reaching 170 centimeters. This phenomenon is observed among the Irish, Spanish, English, and Dutch populations. It implies that within a single generation, individuals have suddenly grown 10 centimeters taller than their parents. Therefore, it is evident that height is not solely determined by genetics. Other factors such as environment and nutrition during childhood also play significant roles. Certainly, the 18th century migration of Europeans from regions plagued by disease and lacking nutritious food to areas with healthier and more abundant resources, including meat, explains why a single generation grew approximately 10 centimeters taller. This shift in environment and access to better nutrition played a crucial role in the significant increase in height observed among descendants in the new environment. Now, let's shift our focus to the eastern part of the globe, particularly China, where the majority of the population tends to be shorter compared to Europeans and Americans. Upon examining China's history, it becomes evident that China has consistently been the most populous country globally, yet it has faced periods of food shortages and famines. The most recent famine occurred 70 years ago during Mao Zedong's. Returning to the Western context, the advent of the Industrial Revolution in Europe coincided with a decline in human height statistics. This decline can be attributed to the Industrial Revolution's emphasis on industrial growth, which often came at the expense of environmental degradation and a decrease in food quality. Furthermore, the shift towards industrialization significantly impacted the psychological and emotional well-being of individuals, as many were subjected to grueling work hours in factories often working 16 to 17 hours a day. Children as young as seven or eight years old were also employed in these factories, contributing to the decrease in height observed among Europeans and Americans. When Europeans and Americans recognize these factors, they contemplate measures such as reducing pollution, implementing regulations on working hours, establishing child labor laws, and fostering peace. These efforts are aimed at improving overall living conditions and creating a healthier environment conducive to proper growth and development. As a result, 
the average height of the population tends to increase once again. For instance, up until the 20th century, the height of Iranians experienced a decline due to factors such as diseases, poor environmental conditions, and famines. However, following the establishment of order in the 20th century, the height of Iranians began to increase. According to statistics from the ResearchGate website, Iranian men and Korean women have seen significant increases in height. In the 20th century, Iranian men grew approximately 16.5 centimeters taller compared to previous generations, while Korean women grew approximately 11 centimeters taller than their predecessors. Today, the tallest populations on Earth are the Dutch, and some argue the Dinka of South Sudan, both averaging a height of 182 centimeters. If you've enjoyed this video, please support us by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Your engagement helps us reach more people. Thank you for being part of our community. In the 19th century, English writings noted a trend where the wealthy tended to be taller while the poor were shorter. At that time, the reason behind this discrepancy was not fully understood. However, it later became apparent that children from affluent families had access to better and more abundant nutrition compared to those from impoverished backgrounds. Can we talk about human height and not mention Vikings? It's true that Vikings are often associated with tall stature, but attributing the height of modern Scandinavians solely to the Vikings' selective breeding practices is a misconception. While the Vikings were known for their physical prowess, and some historical accounts suggest they had a preference for taller individuals, it's unlikely that this alone can explain the height of modern Scandinavians. Height is influenced by a variety of factors, including genetics, nutrition, and environmental conditions. Scandinavian countries, like other developed nations, have experienced improvements in healthcare, nutrition, and living standards over the centuries, contributing to increases in average height across their populations. Towards the end of the 20th century, scientists turned their attention to studying human height more closely. They recognized that one of the most effective methods for researching height is through the study of twins, particularly twins who are raised apart from each other and reside in diverse environments with varying levels of nutrition and other factors influencing growth. Through examining twins raised in different environments and with varying levels of nutrition, scientists have come to understand that not only genetics and nutrition play a role in determining height, but the environment also exerts a significant influence. In cases where one twin grows up in a tranquil environment, even if they receive the same nutritional intake as their sibling, they tend to be taller. However, twins raised together in the same environment and receiving identical nutrition typically exhibit similar heights. This underscores the impact of environmental factors on height, highlighting the importance of considering both genetic predispositions and external influences in understanding human growth. Despite the multifaceted influences on height, Genetics remains a crucial factor that cannot be overlooked. Scientists have identified over 80 genes within our DNA that are associated with height. This genetic component plays a significant role, explaining why approximately 99% of tall parents tend to have children who are not only tall, but often surpass the height of their parents. This phenomenon occurs because multiple height-related genes interact with each other contributing to the variation in height observed among individuals within families. So we found that height growth depends on genetics, nutrition, and environment. What happens if one of these factors is not present? If there is no gene for tallness, almost nothing can be done, like the pygmies in Africa. When they marry, they are all short. If genetics exist but nutrition and environment do not exist, it will be like Iran in the 19th century or Europe before the Industrial Revolution. Now, one interesting point. While genetics largely determine an individual's maximum potential height, there are still factors that can influence height during growth, particularly during childhood and adolescence. Maintaining a healthy and balanced diet rich in essential nutrients, regular physical activity, and proper posture can contribute to optimal growth during the growth years. Additionally, ensuring a supportive and less stressful environment can also promote healthy growth. It's important to note that excessive worry or stress about height during growth can have detrimental effects on overall well-being and development. Encouraging healthy habits and lifestyle choices, along with maintaining a positive outlook, 
is key for individuals to reach their maximum growth potential while also promoting overall health and well-being. People who hunch over are shorter, so always try to stand straight and sit straight. Absolutely, undergoing surgical procedures to increase height is not advisable as it can cause significant harm to the skeletal structure and overall health. Instead, it's important to embrace and celebrate one's natural height and focus on maintaining a healthy body through proper nutrition, exercise, and self-care. Height does not define one's worth or beauty, and it's essential to appreciate and be proud of oneself for having a healthy body, regardless of height. Embracing diversity and recognizing the beauty in our differences enriches our lives and promotes acceptance and self-confidence. Thank you for staying with us until the end of the video.